at the hours. Buddy, howdy, and welcome to Happy Hours. But did I say that really loud? No. It sounds like I was yelling that. You might have been. Uh, anyway, hi everybody, hi, and welcome well, to Happy Hours. You know, it's KB, KB or... Don't even. <laughs> that don't came even. back from where? I don't know. Back uh, in the day, it, it's it's KB-A-R. it's called it's yeah. called Happy Hours, uh, it and it's and the date is 10, 11, 24. It so is. here and we go. In the midst of fall, except it's still one hundred and three yeah. out. Well, uh, okay. So the good news is we have a change coming. Oh, I got to say this real quick. I, what? I was um, just uh, oh. having a couple of beers before I uh, started the show. So pre gaming, we know. And we do it. and this that. is the uh, this is called the Big Blue Van. Mm-hmm. College Street, College Lake Street Havasu, Brewing Arizona. Company. Uh, wheat beer brewed with natural flavors, yes. and it and it has it's like a blueberry wheat. It's oh my, my favorite. god! That it's one and so the Joy Bus, but I think Joy good. Bus is uh, Four Peaks. But yes, College I, Blue Van. I like down this one better. I think that one's a better beer. The, it's a blueberry. The, the, I love it. Big Blue Van. That's a really good beer. Gosh, um, I was really surprised mm, they had it on man, tap. So Actually, I shouldn't be surprised. When we were in Lake Havasu, we were at a place um, that served it on tap. Right. We, we didn't go to College Street Brewing Company then. No, because, well. We'll have to do it again someday. Uh, we, we went and uh, did some touristy things around mm-hmm. the, the, the bridge, and there was we the went to Barley, Barley Brothers. Brothers, which was really good. It was walking yeah. distance. See, mm-hmm. the Blue Van College people, you're far away. I would have to drive well, so, I gotta turn around which you um, know i do drive after i've been drinking but after a long time <laughs> i sit right, for a while don't tell until i can um, no i'm letting you all know i wait until i can drive at least an yeah. hour or so and then we usually eat and stuff so and we drink water yeah, and drink water and, and do that stuff how now. much is in flight some of them are just like threes or fours um you usually get a four or four four or five four of fours ounce, or fives four ounces yeah. of four mm-hmm. which is about equivalent to one and a half to two beers, yeah, um, basically. So, so. but it's then I get a big one, and then I, you know, eat. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, this uh, we, we've got uh, mystery beer, happy hours report, thirsty. Rachel has something to say. Yeah. And we're gonna do Mad Libs today. Yeah, we and promised you that the last closing time. We, we ran out of time. So we sure did. We'll do that for you, so you stick around we, for that. We did. Um, we went uh, this weekend. We went to uh, Yard House because mm-hmm. they're having their Oktoberfest. Yes, we're in the midst of it. It was. And it was lovely. It was really. Really good. The food was awesome, of course. Oh, and you cannot and the, go wrong at Yard House, y'all. The staff there were they were amazing. I love um, them. One, one of the guys um, that seated us. Oh, the host. The host. I forget he, his he name. He came over and he. I, I don't remember either, but mm. he came over and talked to us for a while, and he was we telling us about. People. Yeah, and he was telling us about. Mm. Um, what was he telling us about? He was telling us about the the food, the the beers, oh, the Oktoberfest Oktober and what's on there. Fl- right. They have a flight of four special, just all of their Oktoberfest. October so we beers. were there for the beer, and we went. We were if there you want to, if you want to see this, mm-hmm. go to uh, Beer Perspectives and not Beer Perspectives. We we actually have a Yard House video that Mark under, and Rachel visit Yard under House, our yeah. bars and brewery playlist. Yeah, you it, can it's see it's that. it's under the it's uh, under bars because yeah. it was kind of it was beer. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. it was so, good. So I bought. Because it, 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 he made it sound really good. It was it's this oh, yeah, big... Oh, yeah, Their special Stein. Stein. And, and, and if you know what size. they do in... Uh, what is it? Bavaria. Is it Bav- oh, no, whatever. where is it? Oh, ever. Uh, Germany. Germany, where, where the, uh, Bavaria, the whole Oktoberfest actually was was at. Those they stopped. Ends. They stopped doing it about... Uh, let me see. They they quit on, on the day that we... It was October... What was it ninth? Oktoberfest doesn't run a whole month. It's only it like, starts in September, yeah, actually. The end of September for um, like a week or so. If you know the history of yeah. it, it's about a a, a, a wedding, mm. basically. Oh, so is they it? did this, yeah, know. it was, it was this whole big wedding thing for the wedding. Mm, that, I got a drink. An, this for, is a drinking for an old, story uh, for an old king, I believe it is. Okay, um, not a young king, but an old one. I think I I think I talked about this on one show. Okay, so I'm Maybe. not gonna do it again. Anyway, I don't remember. The, the whole thing is. Um, they do uh, through the whole month. The yard uh-huh. house does the the uh, 
October Fest October specials. Fest and special. they have food and, and they apps, have those big steins like you get things. at you know when you go down to when you, if you go down to Germany and you do the the whole thing and you wear your dink 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 costume dink <laughs> dink and then and then you have those big <laughs> steins and you're drinking and, and you see these pe- these people just da-da-dum. sloshing da-da-dum. <laughs> da-da-dum. You, you see these people da-da-dum. sloshing um, beers yes. and just gigantic you can huge. barely lift it. It was as big as your head. It was a it big. It was end. huge. You have and, a big head, babe. And well, no, I don't. And <laughs> but it was big. And then my yeah. shoulders are kind of like big crappy too. a little bit. But they're big so, too. You're big. So lifting that thing up was like I had to. Oh, oh my god! It was like what so three a, beers in there? So it's I think, a special. Right? Thirty-two ounces. Thirty-two ounces. But it's yeah. a special. So you buy the you buy for fifteen dollars. You get the Stein, and. Um, then you pay f- another fifteen for to mo- fill it up, yeah, right? You, you, yeah, and it comes with a little card. So you take the beer Stein home, but you bring back the card. Right. And the next time you come, you're going to get another Stein filled with beer of your choice it's, for it's five their, dollars. It's their Stein, but you but can't take that Stein. But no. you get that thing filled for not fifteen, not ten, but for but five dollars. So anyway, on the ride I home, share it. I put I it in the back seat. Give us a lot, and I put I the know. Stein in the back seat. And so when I got home, I opened the door. The thing had fallen in between the seat and the door. Guess what it did? No. It rolled out onto the ground and crashed. And shattered. I was oh, like, Fuck. Just like our dreams. They were shattered Fuck. right there on the drive. Awful. So awful. Yeah. So we cried for a minute. We are going leave keeping on. this weekend at, mm-hmm. in Flagstaff. Hey, so. but we do have to go back to Yard House before they officially end. So maybe next, not this weekend, but next weekend. We can't weekend. do it this weekend. Right. Um, obviously. Because we're leaving. Um, but let's go back before it's over and f- at least get a $5 right. beer, babe. So anyway, we're going leaf peeping this weekend in Flagstaff. Um, they have the there. There's an uh, there's there's so many areas around there that have the um, what do you call it? aspen trees. Mm-hmm. And if you know about aspen, aspen trees, they're actually a, a big organism. An organism. Mm-hmm. Organism. They their root bases uh, all grow together, and they're one of the largest organisms in the world. And, and you guys know what yes. the term leaf peeping means? If you watch oh, the of show they or do. listen to the show last week, we talked about. No, wait a minute, everybody. I'm just going to tell you something. Everybody back east knows what leaf Can peeping means. Can I finish means. my thought? There though, you go. Because that's what I'm saying. We were. I was doing um, phrases you didn't maybe know mm-hmm. where they originated from, and leaf peeping was one. And I was going to say it originated in back in Vermont. Of like course, back in the Middle so, Ages. <laughs> we're, we're going. We're going up there to here in Phoenix, to see the um, aspen colors mm-hmm. because really, what you're going to see basically is is yellow and orange. Um, maybe some orange, but not mm-hmm. that wouldn't be the, from the aspen. That would be from the oak if there's some oak in mm-hmm. there. But you'll you'll see mainly oh, I yellow oaks colors. Oh, turned um, red, like down by Oak Creek, where they're um, vibrant red. They start out orange mm-hmm. and could be red, but. Up up there, they, you, you'll probably see orange and more than red. When we I, went I up doubt to then Pine last year much. at this time, we went to Pine, wait, mm-hmm. like up norther, and those were very orange. Whatever up trees norther. those were, were they ash or I don't know, but they were super, there were some super oaks, yeah. orange. There was oaks up there. They were so pretty. Yeah. I love it. Anyway, were cotton, I don't we're know. doing that, and then we're going to the lumber yard, and if I can get everything out before Not to she, get wood, beer. Lumberyard Brewing Company, and Brewing company, we're going up there to to do a beer little peeping. beer peeping <laughs> with, with the great beer outdoors and all that stuff. So there you go. That's what we're doing this week. some beer peeping. We're going to be doing that. We are doing it. And so there'll and be lots of videos probably in some shorts and stuff, so you'll be able to see that if you follow us. Right. If you don't follow so, us, please like and subscribe, and you will follow us. You wow. will follow us. Uh, she's just on it today, you isn't she? You will follow us. Okay, here we go. Us. <laughs> Welcome to the Mystery Beer Theater. Won't you join us? Yes, please. All right, so. Okay, what you got, babe? I have no idea. I'm covering up the label because there's a label around the top. <gasps> no, and so I don't want to read it. Don't look. Um, you know, I could take time. To, it wouldn't make sense, but to take tape the can, then you'd have to untape no, it. So that shit. We're not about taping. Here's, we here's what we're doing. Look. We're just, ooh, this looks like. <laughs> Let's just trust I think ourselves. this is a cider. It's got to be. I Listen. smell fruit already. Oh, yeah, that's I a smell cider. something sweet. Wait, and I smell a little something. Oh, it's pretty. Skanky, too. Hmm. Ugh, sorry. <clears throat> I don't know. Skanky ho. That's my other wow, name that I, a, I tell Alexa stuff. There's a, a weird. She calls me skanky. After smell on there. That's w- w- really strange. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. No, it's I'm good probably a different kind of fruit that we're used hmm. to. Okay. Like. Dragon this is definitely this is definitely clear and it's pink. It looks like a champagne. Ooh, champagne. Um, so like a 
pink champagne. So it's Fog, n- you know it's a cider for sure. It's got to be. And ooh, ooh it see. does kind of have a stinky foot like after. And that's what I said. There's like there's like <laughs> a weird <laughs> note on the end of that. Ooh, stinky feet cider. I wonder who makes it. I don't know, but we're gonna find Left out. Left Shoe Brewing Company. I don't know. I'm going to smell it or right. taste it right now. Mm-hmm. Mm, no, I taste grape. Mm. Mm, it Actually, yummy. it tastes better than it smells. Um, the smell is not like something that mm. is great. Oh my! I would really like this again and again. Mm. It's some kind of grapey. I would. I would say it's more along the lines of being like, like some kind of berry, like a, a wine. It's very sweet. Kind of does um, taste whiny, huh? It's it's champagne for sh- not champagne. It's um it's apple cider for sure. Mm-hmm. It's mm. some kind of a cider, and it does taste berry. So for you grape. that are uh, listening and not watching. Yeah. It has a, uh, it's kind of a, like a, it's a reddish, a, a pink, rose, deep rose, yeah, color, right. and clear. of course the the boat is very clear. The the effervescence is going up the glass very nicely, and it has a nice little bit of a foam ring around the top. So it's it's pretty it's carbonated, yummy. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Here we go. Let's find out what it is, shall we? Some kind of let's a berry. do that. Yes, like let's. Okay. Here we go. Perhaps. Oh wow. Um, Blake's Hard Cider, uh, mm-hmm. Three Berry Punch Perfection. <gasps> three Berry, see what berries? Strawberry, Blackberry, and Raspberry. This I is 6.5% alcohol. Wow. It's gluten free and contains alcohol. Oh. Yes, we know. Made with that. real fruit. Yum. All right, and we so taste let's it. see. Where is it from? Um, Blake. Um, where are you, Blake? Okay, so jam packed berry, refreshing, clear mm. with a story. Cider with a story. What's the story uh, there, Blake's Blake? Blake'sHardCider.com. You have to go there to look. Um, but I'm trying to find out oh, where really? it's from. Blake's Hard Let me see. Cider. Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to look it up. This is from a canned, <gasps> oh, an, a canned by uh, Blake's Hard Cider Company, Wolcott, New York. New York. This yeah. is New York. 100% apple cider, sugar, blackberry concentrate, mm. raspberry concentrate, uh, and... Other flavors. It says strawberry on the front, but they don't. Mm. They don't put that in that's there. That's probably the mm-hmm. other. This would taste good in um. Yeah, that's pops- really good. Popsicles. It's very good. On I mean, a summer day. The, the smell isn't so pleasant. Um, yeah. Why does it smell like feet? The back end smells like foot, and mm-hmm. but the taste <laughs> is really good. Blake, did you squish the berries mm. with your feet, bud? Is that what happened? That might have been what I think happened that's there. What happened? Not a bad drink. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Not super a, yummy. I think it would be a girly foo foo drink. It's weird because would, I know we picked uh, they, they a bunch like of ciders like and not a bunch, but we had some ciders and I think put I in there. And um, I that was one of the yeah. ciders. I mean, I, I like to have a couple ciders and mix with uh, mix Mr. Beer bit. stuff because yeah. this isn't really a beer. It's that a cider, nice. but this is good. But you know I what? Like it was it. not. I, I like it. it. Your voice goes high I when like you're it. lying, babe. Lying. All right. Are you going to be quiet enough so I can do my... Uh, be quiet enough? <laughs> I'm not not being quiet. <laughs> do, do, oh, my God. Yeah. I got to do my uh, happy hours report. Do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to. I am doing it. Okay. Four. All right, so what I got here is basically um, a brief history of curse words. These are like old-timey curse words. Ooh, I need so, to learn new curse words. Well, no, these are I old want, ones, so I'm not like, sure if... I want to learn okay, them. Okay, the original curse, why do... Write these down. What do we call forbidden terms, curse or swear words? Uh, thing. Swearing is sometimes used to refer to false promises or lies, such as when someone mm. claims to do something that is... Not possible. I'm gonna, <laughs> okay. I'm going to write. This, so anyway, they'd be a liar. I'm going to write this down. The, the rise of the four letter word. Okay. The four letter word was first used. Which four letter word? As euphemism for, for swear words in the in the 1920s. Oh, okay. So the four, four letter. Tw- uh, wait, see. When someone Something, say four letter for word. Reason, pro- okay. Approximately 84 commonly used American English swear words. 29 oh, of them shit. have four letters, including the most popular, damn. Okay. We know that. Um, That's a three-letter word. Four, D A M N, dam. Oh, <laughs> I was thinking okay. like beaver dam. There you go. <laughs> Wait, I don't want that. Uh, Babe, my I thing came I... off in my ear again. Um, I, I'm sorry that okay. it did that. I'm not. I'm, I'm fixing. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm trying to fix. Okay, so either. that anyway, that was it. Dam don't was me. one of them. Um, mm-hmm. The F word, meanwhile, was preceded by the, a Ooh. different four-letter word in the 10th century. Sard, S A R D which described the same Sarge. intimate act 
the, that was commonly uh, the, the common myth uh, that today's F word uh, derived from the Sard means acronym either fornication under the co- the consent of the king or or for unlawful carnal knowledge. Uh, hey, uh, unlawful carnal. You know who had an al- album that was that? It was the Van, Van Halen, Halen did. It? Yeah. I fixed um, my ear thing. I mean, it, it's it's untrue. <laughs> Instead, the the expletive may come from the Middle Dutch uh, "fokken," 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 Norwegian "fucka," <laughs> "fukka," or Swedish "fokka," which is "foka," all Fuka. which mean several several things, including Fuka. to copulate. Another theory uh, supported the Excuse dictionary me. slang of unconventional e- uh, English and the roots of English. A reader's handbook of w- word. Hey, you know what? So That's funny. Remember that? Though. Remember that uh, that thing from Doctor and Mental? They did the the word fuck, and they did yes, talk that about, was so yeah. funny. Okay, but so okay, let's go to let's go to where where's the okay? So where's where's they, all the fucking cuss words here? So uh, just to clarify, <laughs> <laughs> okay, when right. you said. F O K K, yeah, whatever. Was it actually a swear word, or that was just their word for you know? Um, the it wasn't original, a bad word. well, no, it was a swear word, but the original one was like they, they, they said the these are four four from. letter words. Sard, S A R D, was an intimate act, but then it so turned it into an F word, they which turned it to an F-word. which became um, okay. it uh, wasn't a, Middle Dutch, which is F O K K E N, fucking, fucking, fucking. Hey, we be fucking. <laughs> Uh, fuck okay. it. I just, just say fuck it. I was just wondering I mean, if it was thing. considered fuckin', a bad word fuckin', originally, fuckin'. and we, it's just turned into a fuckin'. bad word. That was all I'm. Wondering. Um, it's called. It's it's about sex. Okay. I know. Um, fuck it. Sex isn't fuka. a bad word. Fuka. Uh, is you know, sex isn't a bad word. Uh, uh, copulate. Um, Copulate's not a bad word. Well, f- fucking means the same thing as that. Right. So why would you say that fucking is a bad right. word? Right. Why is fu- I'm just okay. change approved. Um, I'm going to say it all the time now. The F word became <laughs> the official part of the English lexicon when it was included in the. Penguin Dictionary. Penguin Dictionary. Yeah, okay. I didn't know they had one. Uh, I didn't either. Who knew? Uh, okay, so... Uh, okay. What else? Uh, the words uh, beginning with SH has several meanings through the years, according to the old oh, English shit. Dictionary. We're it was shit now. used to mean an obnoxious person starting in 1508, although through the early version of the word oh, wasn't see. four letters, and it began as an old English curse. Like you little shit. S-C-I-T, like which would be sight. Shite, shite, shite. It would be shite. Shite. Something. Shite. In Latin, shite means very oh, shite. different Got things, yeah, shrewdly, that. cleverly, or skillfully. In 1934, okay. when it was used in Henry Heller's uh, novel like Tropical it. of Cancer, Tropic of Cancer, the four-letter version of the word had developed, evolved into essentially mm-hmm. to mean stuff, regardless like, of. Get your shit. Get your stuff. Of I do quality. see that. It's, inter- okay. it's interchangeable. Well, where's the rest of it? Like, it said, come get oh, your here. shit. Pick your shit up off the ground. Swearing goes stuff. to ha- um, thing. Hollywood. So you got, uh, okay. frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Oh, yeah. And I remember that. Frankie goes, Frankie goes to um, Hollywood. You had a shirt, or I had a shirt that said that. So where did where did the word shit come in? This is like way too long. I mean, it's going to take forever to... And then someone else um, had a shirt that said, wait. Frankie doesn't give a damn or something like that. Oh, that's from Frankie Goes Hall. Okay, so, oh yeah, mm-hmm. so Mark Harmon said shit happens prior to the swearing on TV and limited Mark cable television. Mark Harmon coins uh, that radio, phrase? Uh, so, uh, George, uh, George Carlin. I didn't know he did that. His um, routine, seven dirty words you can't say on television Ooh. from George Carlin. Oh yeah, he was um, funny. We talked yeah. about him one time too. So really this didn't, do much for me. It didn't really explain oh, um, a lot of the fun four-word curse words well, and like shit. Where, okay, well, shit what come did from? I learn from it? What? It came from German and Sweden. Well, of course. <laughs> because, you know, it was pretty much everybody shite. came over here, like fucking Fuck. cussing. Fucking shite. Ah, uh, shit. Pick up your fucking shite. Yeah, I'm fu- just going to say that. Ah, uh, uh, fuck a shit. F- uh, fuck that fucking shit. Shite. Fuck that shit. That sounds better, yes. Let's just say that. Fuck, fuck that, that shit. shite. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. You sard. <laughs> you little sard. So you did learn a little something I there. I did. I'm going to practice it at work. All right, tomorrow. good for you. Oh, wait, I'm not going to work tomorrow. Oh, good thing because we're going. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going out of town. Yeah, oh, not well. tomorrow. But no, it's we okay. actually have the boys over tomorrow for a oh, bit. Yeah. Don't we? we got the babysit tomorrow. We're going to swim one more time. That's my plan. Yeah. I don't know about you. I can't believe we still have the pool up. It got hot again. I know. Summer came. It's out. never going away. It is. In the ten day forecast, we're now we have eighties and nineties in I know. the ten days. So we do. we'll it's, see. It's out there a bit. Yeah. Um, I don't 
trust them. They'll change they might it tomorrow. Happen. Fuckers. Those fuckers. Those, uh, those fuckers. Those shite holes. <laughs> yes. <yeah>. Shite holes. <laughs> All right, no, fill those glasses out. Okay, we got it. Uh, yeah. Uh, what we're doing here is a drink. I got... Yeah. What you got oh, for shit. me? I don't, shite. Oh, shite. Oh, I, I, I did get it. Oh, shite. I did get it open. Uh, shite. Fucking... Fucking... Fucking shite. Shite at the devil. Fucking shite. Is that a word? Okay. Is that a song? Shite at the devil. That's shite. That's <laughs> shit at the devil. <laughs> shite at the devil. Shit on the devil. Oh, uh, okay. that's shout. They're talking about uh, Monica. Shout Crew. at the devil. Okay, so I'm putting in here... Uh, in this cup, I've got um, the uh, the ninety nines. This is mangoes, ninety nine mango. mangoes. Okay, um, this 99 is ninety nine bottles of mango on the wall. The, well, the thing about ninety nines is they're ninety nine proof, and so they're a little strong. So they're not ninety nine cents. Well, I mean, no, actually, they are. I think they're like a dollar. So I thought so, that's why they were no, called ninety nine. Ninety nine. 99 brands, 99 proof. See on the bottle? Oh, and yeah. were they 99 cents? Okay, so on here it says, look, it says so. uh, uh, 40, 49.5% alcohol by volume. Mm -hmm. If Not you're looking at, lot. no, if you're looking at oh, a regular uh, alcohol, bottle. alcohol bottle is like, um, what lot. is it, 30? No, what is it? Um, for, uh, Let's see. It's, it's lower. It's like 37 or 30, wait. Here's cherry flavored It's 30% alcohol by volume. This comes out to be 60 proof. And that's okay. 99 proof. So those this, are higher. This is 49.5, and it comes out to be 90 yeah, proof. Yeah. Yeah. Something, yeah. yeah, something like that. All right, anyway, cool. we got that. Um, we got Canada so Dry Fruit mango. Splash. Okay. Mm, Sugar-free, too. It is, um, if Not you care about that. it matters, that. but I yeah, like She it. always likes to say it because it makes her feel um, special. Like she's... <laughs> She's doing, I'm accomplishing doing something, something good for. I am. I'm doing something healthy. But it, it, okay, so Who there'd cares? be people that would. Uh, I don't care. They don't have beg to, to watch. differ because everybody claims that it causes cancer. So. Oh, like everything and else kills does. you. I don't and, care. Yeah, right. So. Get over ourselves. So who who fucking cares really? If, if you if if you don't care about. Um, fucking shite. That stuff, and you just want to party and have a good time. I love these new words. Thank you for then do it. Teaching me. anyway. So then I topped it off with some lemonade. Okay, That's so I put a little bit of okay. uh, Canada Dry Fruit Splash gen <gasps> uh, Cherry Ginger Ale mm, in there. It's a pretty color. It looks peachy. And hang on, and uh, then I topped it with some uh, lemonade Ooh. in there. <laughs> so let's see, what is it? I just got a mouthful of mango. Oh wow! Okay, but it's yummy. Well, I smell the mango right off the top of this. Wow! Yeah, I taste it. It's still in the bottom of my cup. Wait. Let me just do this. Ooh, it's fruity, baby. That's really interesting. That's good. What should we name this? Uh, what should I name it? Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm going to call that, uh, let's call it. Uh, fruity baby. Fruity mangoes. Fruity mangoes, mm -hmm. baby. Ooh, that's good. I know. Actually, I like it. I do taste it. It's kind of peachy, good. but it's mango. Now, like, mango. Peachy. It's a no, very mango. it's a very strong mango flavor and it's the ninety nine for you that that fruit splash with cherry ginger ale in it is is awesome with a, with some lemonade. Oh, wow, who yummy. would have known? Ginger ale is very underrated. Now we got to just take a great a, mixer. Take, you a, guys don't take our time on this drink a little bit because guess what? It's very strong. It's ninety nine proof. You don't really just need Seven Up and Sprite. For mixer, you can really use ginger ale. It's really good. Yeah, you can do whatever the hell you want, mm -hmm. really, in real life. I mean, I just you really recommend um, zhuzhing up up a bit. Zhuzhing okay. it up. Oh my um, god. Well, okay, you you do that, baby. You you get a chance to like really talk your ass off now, okay? Yay. Go for it. I wasn't talking my ass off before. I was just talking along with you. <laughs> over me. I was not talking over you. As I was trying to explain. I was stuff. talking something and then you interrupted me and I'm like, wait, that's not what I was gonna say. But now I have something okay. to say. Okay, good. And you got a lot. Hey, maybe I should talk over you too. Go ahead. So I'm gonna want that? your yeah. I'm gonna want your opinion. All right, good. These are five. I'll, I'll do it. I'll classic. Do it. I'll do it like you do all the time. Cocktail. So. <laughs> that aren't. Uh, words. That's about how I talk, right? The Everybody, you know that I have to talk in between hype her talking. Okay, go that ahead. Bartender, say go. Get get going. So when you're at a happy hour, you're out and about in the town, you know, you guys, how you, know, you got to go out and stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't want to worry about. Well, I mean, okay, here's the thing. Wasting uh, let me, twenty let me, bucks let me on say, like a bad drink or well, something. Well, no, no, but listen, this is what I'm saying. When you when you go out, some people just prefer beers. This is just about this is cocktails. Uh, cocktails. This is yeah. the bartenders. Is, so there is a like this drink. A little thing. Yes, this reminds me a little thing like 
<clears throat> bartenders were surveyed and mm. they wanted to know which drinks, there was like 10, but I did five, which, which drinks, classic cocktails, do you think are overrated and what would you really prefer instead a classic cocktail mm-hmm. so this is this isn't the ones that uh are are like what we just made up because this is not a classic no, cocktail. classic so when you're That's on the back, you one. don't want to spend 20 bucks on a bad drink but 20 but, bucks but that doesn't always mean what you should fuck? stick to something basic so one drink 20 bucks some places could be you could I buy guess. like three beers or four so beers for that Business insider spoke to bartenders to find out which classic happy hours of our beers you can go five beers on that and what you should be getting instead the first one that made the list was margaritas yeah. everybody knows what a margarita is but do the traditional most, one i would most say bartenders Stick with say it. it's overplayed and inconsistent because there's so many ways to make a margarita um, right and you're you're not yeah. likely to find the version you really really want you're looking for do you know, the traditional dish, one yeah traditional that's what i'd say but do the most bartenders say if you one. want something instead of a margarita and on the rocks do it on the rocks try a paloma instead do you know what a paloma mm, yeah. is yeah it's with grapefruit um, it says yep it's similar it's still tequila based mm-hmm. with an addition of grapefruit soda Mm-hmm. Makes it more complex and consistent. So you're going to get the tequila desire you, can you actually, deserve, but it's more consistent. Okay, here's what a, here, saying. they say grapefruit soda, but mm-hmm. here's what you can do: you can actually get um, great, uh, like fre- well, fresh squeezed grapefruit makes it great, right? Or we've, fresh soda. We've done this. Soda. We've done this. Or a squirt. And and then you take um, you, you they just yeah, said you grapefruit take, soda. So yeah, you take something sweet mm-hmm. like um, excuse me, may, maybe like the squirt, right? So we'll do because we'll you want the carbonation, so right? So I, we that's do this. Why they said soda. We do this. We we'll take and actually do like. Uh, the vodka, and then we do the fresh grapefruit, grapefruit and, and then, then we top soda. it with some. No, we top it with some squirt on there. Oh yeah, which gives but it that's the that soda that great fruity. Mm, so that's so a good. Paloma. We didn't yeah. know we were making a, a knockoff version of I did. A Paloma. I did. Okay. I knew the next that. one, another high alcohol one it. that's very overhyped, is it. the Manhattan. Mm. I've always heard that term. I wasn't sure what was in it. Uh, I think I tried it once and it was disgusting. Yeah. Well, okay. Given the opportunity to order a well-made drink, I guess if if it's made right, it's okay. Yeah. Um, In order, you can try a, I don't know how to say it, Vieux Carrere or V-I-E-U-X. It's Vaux. Vaux Carrere. Vaux Carrere. Okay. It sounds okay. false. Oh, Francais. Okay. Anyways, they said it's your rye, vermouth, and bitters. They're still present, but the intro of brandy and herbal Benedictine adds a beautiful complexity and smooths okay, out so any of the rough edges you might encounter with the Manhattan. The it's so Manhattan strong. is like a what do you call it? Like a it's in, it's in like a one of those little. It's strong. That's cups. all I know. Yeah, is because it's really, really yeah, strong. because it's just a couple of ingredients, and it's it's made like a what do you call it when people drink that just vodka. Uh, with oh, an olive, no, no. Uh, a martini. A martini. It's like that. With Ugh. yeah, it's well, yeah. Anyways. No, um, yeah, you're right. Ugh. Another drink to consider Ugh. skipping would be the Long Island Long Island <laughs> iced tea. I know about that one. Most I can tell you all about that one. Stay right off the bat. They say I got right fucked the back. up on that oh, one. We, I think we all have. Yeah, it lacks clarity and comes across very muddled. Little complexity. What they and it say, gets you fucked up. Because there's just so Bad. many hard alcohols in it, I think. Yeah, they just I dump a bunch of... I haven't had one in 30 years. So I haven't gonna... either. Uh, the last time I had one was I threw up in the car. I was like 20-something, so, yeah. Yeah, I was laying So the what they suggest the is you want to try I won't a do that bee's anymore. knees. Have yeah. you heard of that? No. Um, it's a mix of <coughs> gin, fresh lemon juice, and a little honey. It scratches gin? the itrus forward, it citrus Wait. forward itch. Wait, you got more gin? Depth, fresh lemon juice. Lemon juice. And some honey. And honey. Okay. It's just simple. Yeah, it sounds good. They're like, that actually do that kinda, instead. That, that yeah. could be good. All right, what else? Oh, apple teenies. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Remember that? I need yeah. a drink. This you remember is that? making me thirsty. <laughs> you remember that? You remember apple teenies? Most bartenders <laughs> just say it's too sugary. Straight up yeah. too sugary. Yeah, well, this is pretty sweet. But it's, this is, the thing about this one is it might be sweet, but it's it's uh, sugar-free. It's so, yummy. But it's very but sweet. But I, I, you like the fact that it's sugar-free? You brought it up. Well, Again? I'm just saying, so that mm-hmm. strong sugar flavor. That, I mean, It's this, not sugar. This, it's Fake Th- this mango comes across pretty nicely in there. Does it taste artificial though? It does totally. Okay, well um, then that's what the bartenders would not like because no, they because it does. I mean, it's not fresh mangoes or nothing. Apple teenies are very vodka forward. Mm-hmm. It's, it's early two thousand with drink. the phrase of uh, uh, the fake apple apple mm-hmm. uh, flavor, and it's very out of style. It's an early two thousand, so it's an over twenty year old drink, overly sweet, artificial well, it's a, tasting. It's, it's a martini again. Artificial, they said. Yes, I know. It's that. 
apple. Apple teeny. Like it's apple. a it's a freaking martini. Why right. would you buy it? I know, <clears throat> and I don't like that fake apple. I don't flavor. ever buy martinis. I, don't, so I, I buy mixed drinks. What they say? Go for a whiskey sour instead. Mm, I know it's the, the perfect balance of sweet, sour, and savory with the depth of whiskey and the brightness of fresh lemon juice. Okay, so how I like my whiskey is with either cinnamon in it uh, or cinnamon apple in it. Oh, we had one. That was I really like good. cookie dough whiskey. Um, with cream <laughs> yeah. soda. Yeah, cookie cookie uh, cookie dough. Uh, what was the other one? Birthday, birthday cake. cake. Yep, there you go. Sweet, sweet whiskeys. Oh, my God. Those are so good, yeah, you guys. Fuck that whiskey. Buy the book. The yeah. recipes are in there. Yeah, our recipes are in the yeah. book. Thirsty? Someone make me a drink. It's on Amazon. Hey, you, you made some money off that. What was it? I did. Um, I don't know. Uh, gratuit, uh, you, you made like uh, 10 bucks. Something like that. Yeah, Someone bought we, the book. I some, uh, thank you. Whoever you were. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. There was three people. Oh, okay, One cool. was you and two others <coughs> or something. So we got, so we got some... Yeah, um, we got a little okay, cool. Some. Thanks, so, you guys, whoever thank that you. was. Um, yeah. And last but not least, I know you like this one, mojitos. Mm-hmm. They usually fall short and almost are never up to expectations. Why, you ask? Why? Why? Well, because they, they require, according to bartenders, they require extensive muddling for each drink, which is time-consuming for a busy bar. Instead of just going, here you go, you know. No, you you got to crush the leaves with, and 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 actually each drink individually, and and that's what sometimes it takes longer to get that drink because if if you get if you get if it's done right, right, if you get like the the leaves in there, of course, and then they have all these small pieces of the leaves in there, it means someone was taking some time to really fucking crush it, you know. So that's what they say. Mm -hmm. A lot of and it's good. A lot of busy bars rush. Because they're busy and they're just trying to, you know, you want a mojito? Okay. Just yeah, but if you go, go to, listen, if you go to like a resort, um, or something. A resort and you ask for a mojito, Those are pretty um, they, good. they usually take, take their the time, time and mm-hmm. muddle it and do it. Because they like want more money from you. Yeah. You're going to be laying at the pool for a while probably. Yeah, and I only have one mojito though, because right, fuck that. Want. And then after that, it's a bucket of beer. Right, <laughs> bucket of beer. A couple of them. Um, they require extensive <laughs> muddling for each drink, which is time consuming. Additionally, the over overly muddled mint. If mm-hmm. you do it too much, then it gets a little weird, and then it waters down the flavor and the leaves. It just makes you having not, not balanced. All right, it it's sounds to balanced. me like someone's trying to say that is too complicated. So what it's is, like really? So what they say, yeah. Pussies. So what they want to do when Pussies. they're busy, they're going to say, for an equally sweet and refreshing cocktail, just try a rum daiquiri or a hurricane. These are from bartenders themselves all across the country. All right, according good to for Business them. Insider. Thank they're you winners. Very much. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I don't like really any of those, so I don't really care. Give me no, beer. I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm usually a beer person, but we do. I'm a beer person. We do uh, enjoy a cocktail. Maybe or or once or every once in a while, twice a I week or so, like sticky. on the show, and then we do one in the middle of the week just to. Do you guys ever be spray silly. yourselves with like mosquito um, like repel or something and get it on your fingernails and it makes your nail polish sticky? No, I don't. Do you ever get that? Uh, I don't have that issue. I am. I'm getting sticky nails because we were um, getting bit. There's mosquitoes that are hiding around here. I was sprayed the f out of myself before the show because. All right. Fighting me. Okay, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Um, They're sticky. That's great. I was just noticing. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you haven't played Mad Mix in a long time, babe. You get to play. I know. I get Aren't to play. excited? I get to read. I guess. She's chattery today. I am I am not. I'm not allowed to talk. I know. I'm going to do this one. Okay. Oh, really? So did you did you look at it? Get, is, it is it something you want to... It's I'm just, not looking. I'm big, just drinking my drink. Don't what, look. What the fuck? I just opened. I found what? something that hasn't been look. done. Right. Okay, go ahead. So you want to give me an adjective? I mean, maybe uh, I could. You guys who are listening, right. we actually have bags of little papers that we've had written down, so we don't have to think. Um, what I do is I go online and you just look up adjectives, nouns, mm-hmm. verbs. They've been in the bags or for months. Or you can go onto a site that does mm-hmm. funny. Um, we don't want to think for funny ourselves. Mad Lib. Words. Um, uh, mm-hmm. All those, all the, all the, what do you call it? Adjectives, verbs, verbs nouns, nouns oh, whatever. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So find so you want an adjective. adjective. Okay, here we go. Bizarre. Oh, bizarre. That's just bizarre. Oh, that's cool. I need a yeah. plural noun. All right, plural noun. Let me see. Mark gets to dig in bags. He loves digging in bags. All right, so Trash we got to take bag. one of these and make it plural. Okay, here we go. Other bags. Claws. Oh, like claws. Meow. Not like claws in a like legal form or anything. No claws. Oh, okay. <laughs> While you're in the nouns, can I have another oh. noun? Um, you just want a regular noun. Mm-hmm. Okay. A regular. Hey, if everybody's noticed uh, my um, 
my little cough and cold thing is pretty much on its way out. Cough and cold thing? Yeah. Good. Moonshine. Moonshine. Love the moonshine. Yes, we do. Well, I don't know. Sometimes it's gross. Um, I need a verb. <laughs> talking about coughing colds, and all of a sudden I start coughing. That's dumb. A verb ending right, in an verb. ing. A okay. verbing, babe. All right. Give me a verbing. Verbing. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Um, <sighs> yum, yum, yum. Tickling. Oh, that's a cute one. Tickling. Tickling. You got any more ver- uh, verbs? Right? I need uh, another uh, verb. Oh, wait. Yeah, verb? Yep. Okay, good. Past tense this time. Sang. Sang. Okay, yeah, it is a past Instead tense. Instead of sing. Yeah, sing. Yeah. Um, you said past tense. Yep. So, yeah. Another verb while you're there. Oh, my God. <gasps> a whole bag of verbs. Give, just, give, just give me a verb. Okay, here give we go. Give me a verb. Wink. Wink. Wink, wink. Okay. Now I need a noun. Now I'm back to the nouns, huh? Back to the nouns. There's no adjectives in this one? We used to do Mad Libs all the time when we started the show two years ago. Um, Can you believe it's been two years? uh, Yeah. I mean, because we had nothing to do (laughs) this week. We were bored. So we were like, okay, we'll just uh, do Mad Libs. Um, Can of beans. Can of whoop ass. Can of beans. Can of beans. What kind of beans? Okay. Uh, Come on. Um, Another noun. No, stop that. Okay. You stop that. Uh, Another noun. No, no. What can it Just kinda, a noun. Okay. Just deal with whatever I, I say. Diaper. <laughs> diaper. <laughs> diaper. A diaper. Okay, a number. Uh, 30. <laughs> That's it. 30. <laughs> okay. Another noun. <laughs> That's dumb. 30. 30. But say it with a question mark. 30. <laughs> or or kind of like 30. <laughs> Do it that way. 30. I a question. No, what? I like question mark. That's 30? funny. You said do it like a question. Okay, 30. <laughs> that, that'll be funny. Okay, so now what am I doing? I need a noun. Another one? Yeah. Oh, we need new bags. These are ripping. Oh, man. Okay. Bag. That uh, is a noun. Bag. Do you want to say bag? No. Oh. Maple leaf. Maple leaf. How about aspen leaves? Well, I just wrote maple. Oh, there you go, right? You hate it when you do something, and then and I do something, and it's like, hey, change it. Like I can write are. both. No, nah, just fine. Just do maple. maple or aspen leaf. I mean, it could just be aspen or maple, or whatever. Yeah, right, both. Maple aspen leaf. Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say the word or maple or ap ma- maple leaf. Aspen oh, or God, maple. Oh God! Now you're gonna screw it up. Okay, what? Uh-huh. A verb ending in ing. Um, a verb being. All right, here we go. I hope this is a good one. I don't know. You know, this is the kind of shit that if you guys take us along on your cooking. podcast, cooking, cooking, that's and you're a driving, boring one, and you're driving and driving, you're just listening to BS. This is good BS. Sometimes, I think. sometimes, sometimes it's bad BS. A number like this one. Oh, yeah, uh, a number I again. A number. Um, yeah. Eighty-three. 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 I haven't put the three in there for a while. Yeah. Okay. A verb. This is a, a verb. very verby one. Yeah, I know. There's like no adverbs or adjectives or uh, nothing nope, in there? Nope. Wow. <laughs> good thing I made a bunch of ver- verbs. Yeah. Good job. Um, good job, Mark. Mm-hmm. Laugh. Oh, La- oh, laugh. Oh, 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 oh. La- I'll make it laughing because it's I-N-G. Oh, I thought you said just verb. Oh, yeah. I do need another verb. That was What? A verb. Uh, yep. You put it in another one? Yeah, I put it down right. here because that looks a little, look, it would fit better. So you're reading the story as you No, I just saw a longer line. Okay. Um, all right. Mm-hmm. All right. Another verb? Mm-hmm. Whimper. 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 That's a good one. My okay. mouth is open. Uh, now I just need nouns. Okay, that's it on the verbs, and you need just nouns for the rest of the, the, rest of the show. Okay. okay, here we go. How many do you need? Um, one, two, three. V- okay, I got it. All right, here we go. Yeah. Well, you, you need a uh, monster truck. Monster truck. All right. Monster truck. <laughs> egg. <laughs> Just egg. Just egg. Egg. And skunkweed. Skunkweed. <laughs> we smell that from the neighbors yeah. almost oh, every day. And I need a place. A place? You say neighbors. <laughs> Just say neighbors. Um, no, no, let's it. say the pool. Okay. okay. The pool. Pool. Uh, the pool. All right, okay. that was go. it. You guys okay. want to hear what this is? Oh, yeah, let's hear it. I don't even know what it's called. It's got to be great, I'm sure. All right, this is called Adult Mad Lib. Dysfunctional Famous Families. Oh. A checklist. Okay. A checklist. I don't know. There must be. Okay, you know you grew up 
in a bizarre known dysfunctional family when Mm -hmm. number one oh your dad was the president of the united claws and got caught tickling the hot moonshine Oh, um, yeah, I can oh, see that. Okay. Extra points if he sang about it on national cans of beans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Number two, another checklist. Number you know, two. You know, you grew up in a dysfunctional family. If your manager, if your manager mother thinks it's a good idea for you to wink naked in Playboy diaper, in play diaper. <laughs> Not play boy, play diaper. Play diaper. Um, Wink when you're naked and play eh, diaper. Eh, eh, Ooh, that's that's awful. That sounds like a little kinky. That sounds a little child pornography, don't a little you think? Pornography going on there. Sweet pea, just wink. Put that diaper on a wink. Take off the diaper. Uh, who's saying it's like? Uh, Take off the diaper is, is, and is, wink, say, sweet pea. Is, is, say, who's saying it's a kid? It could be like a well, twenty year old adult. All right. <laughs> Jeez, they do that nowadays. Oh. Uh, watch us in a diaper. Should I take off my diaper? Yeah, take it off and wink. And it could be Grandpa, okay. too. Yeah, it could be the one. Is this right? Yeah, Grandpa, that's great. Wink, Grandpa. Yeah, don't wink. forget to wink. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that eye. The next one. <laughs> okay, okay, another one. She right. also thinks you need to lose 10 to 30 pounds so mm-hmm. you can land the diet aspen or maple leaf deal. Okay. Um, 30, 10 to 30 pounds. That was that question mark that you told me. 30 pounds. Or so, so you can land the maple aspen leaf deal. Okay. You got to sell those leaves, babe. (laughs) No, well, we're going to do that this weekend. All right. You also knew you were growing up in a bizarre dysfunctional family. Uh If your sister is constantly in and out of rehab for exhaustion and addiction to cooking pills. (laughs) She's been watching the cooking channel too long. Need to be in the kitchen all the time. <laughs> She's been watching the cooking channel. The, luxuri- <laughs> the luxurious facility could double as a eighty-three star uh, spa. That's eighty-three star. A, a eighty-three oh, wow. star spa. Yeah. That is that is huge. Well, that's the facility she's in, so she probably cooks a lot there. That is huge. Although she shouldn't cook because that's her addiction. Okay. <laughs> she's got cooking pill addiction. Uh, you also know you're from a d- bizarre dysfunctional <laughs> family when your dad is a rock and whimpering star who fathered <laughs> several children throughout his career. You didn't mm. find out he was your biological m- monster truck until you saw it on the front page of the News Egg. The news egg. <laughs> the, they still have that. Yes, they do. The news egg. <laughs> and lastly, you knew you grow up. You know you grow up in a bizarre, known a dysfunctional family when you and your brothers were in a skunkweed band group. <laughs> and your it's parents, called the Doobie Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> and your parents laughed all your money away. You had to sue them in the. <laughs> to get your earnings back. <laughs> Give me my money, bitch. As Wait, you're in let's the pool. Go swimming first, then we I can talk. I want my money back. Give let's me my money back, back, you bitch. Mom. Okay. Let's get in the pool, ma. Okay. We got a we, 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 closing thoughts. We're running. We're running low on time. Oh. And I got a couple like stupid jokes, real quick. Um, okay. Um, well, my closing thought. You want let me first, or you want to do your <coughs> jokes? Let me do my first. jokes, and you can okay. do. It. <clears throat> okay. If a woman sleeps with uh, ten men, she's a slut. But if a man does it, he's definitely gay. <laughs> oh. Okay. You get no, it? he's not. Uh, you did not get that. No. If a woman sleeps with 10 men, she's a slut. But if a man does it, he's definitely gay. Not if he he's... just slept with 10 men. Oh, Durr. I thought you said women. Oh, yeah. okay. I was God. sorry. <clears throat> I was thinking the girls with the guys and the guys with no. the girls. Okay. She didn't get. Okay. I wasn't anyway. paying attention. Uh, what do uh, prostitutes and bungee jumping have in common? Um, ten people in a bag bed. They they both cost a hundred dollars, and oh. if the rubber breaks, you're screwed. Oh, that's a funny okay. That's one. mine. That's my closing thoughts, everybody. That wasn't really a closing thought. That, that was is my closing joke. thoughts. It's like okay. we're gonna have fun this weekend. Okay. And all that shit and shite. Um, and all that shite. Say it right. Shite. Shite. My that closing fog, thought, fog, fogging shite. Is I feel like I went shite. back to school because I learned some new terms. I'm gonna have to try to incorporate fooking and shite all the time, all the fooking time, and um, that's about it. Good luck with that. Yeah, everybody. Guess what? It's that time to say goodbye, you guys. We love you so much. We just did another show, and it's probably not the best show, but we yeah. it's one of our shows. And we've been doing this for um, like two years, 
two no. is it over two years? It's been over two years. Yes, we're in October. Yeah. We don't really care. Yeah, uh, we, we just still do don't it care, because but we, we like, like to do it. This is the thing. We like to do it. Yeah, and we this do. is for our entertainment as well as yours. hopefully yours, the, the yeah. ones that are uh, consistent viewers. Right. So and we've actually grown and we have a lot of playlists. So we actually right. try to think of things to right. do. So go check us so, out if you want. So here's the thing. With this with we this podcast, you. we do it all the time yeah. and we want you to like it. And subscribe and to it, it if you're a new viewer. Take so us with you wherever you go. You might not have made it this far if you're a new viewer, mm-hmm. but you might need to watch sometime to see how the end turns out. Yeah, you want to see the cup with the drink in it? You want to see you, how pretty it is? You want to see all this? Go watch it. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to see it I don't it think either. most people care, really. Okay. So, yeah. anyway. doesn't we, matter. We care and we love you guys. So, thanks for all the likes and subscribes and comments. Keep them coming. Love you. Bye. Bye. Happy hours running and it always lasts.